Hey guys, this is Allison, and today I'm going to be filming my the 100 mid-season trailer um, reaction. I am just super pumped for these last four episodes, you guys. Yeah, I have not seen this. I have waited eagerly all day to watch this, and so I'm super pumped to watch this. So let's get started. The radiation is going to be here in six days. Anyone who is not in this bunker will be dead. Your time is running out. No! Talking about the radiation. There is no hope. Now there's hope. Oh, God, there really? There's room for 1,200 people in here. This doesn't have to turn into a war. It's already a war. No. I die. At least I go down Friday. The bunker will be safe. Every time I think that something bad No! Happens. Make no mistake, you choose to stay and you're choosing death. It's time to go. I'm not going. May the best warrior win. Together we have struggled. And together we will rise. Oh, yay! I'm worried. I want the human race to survive. Are you really going to die? There's a way to live. That's just it. We don't think it's a way to live. Oh, that was so great, y'all. Oh, man. I'm going to watch it again just so I can revel in the awesomeness. The radiation is going to be here in six days. Anyone who is not in this bunker will be dead. Your time is running out. No, I swear if they kill Raven, I'm going to be so mad. There is no hope. Now there's hope. Oh, that's really sad that they only said that. for 1,200 people in here. This doesn't have to turn into a war. It's already a war. If I die, I die. At least I go down Friday. The bunker will be oh, no, Every time I think that something bad happens. Make no mistake, you choose to stay and you're choosing death. It's time to go. I'm not going. May the best warrior win. Together we have struggled. And together we will rise. Interesting. I'm so happy for M. Morgan Murphy. I want to race. That is. Mm, that's Bellamy, Abby, and Clark. That's great. Yay. Oh, that's so great. Okay. Get excited. Okay. So this is basically what we saw from from the trailer is it's like radiation tier, you know, they're they have like I think it's like six days. And so it's basically like who gets to be in the bunker? Like how do they decide that? Like who gets to do that basically? Um, and that's really I'm really interested to see how they decide that. I really think it's gonna be a battle between all the different clans, like um, like Sky Crew and Tree Crew and Asgata. I feel like they're all gonna be battling together. That's my just prediction and also some of the BFC. We've talked about this as well. Um, just how there's going to be a battle between who gets to decide, like, who gets the spots, basically. The 1,200 spots. Um, so, basically, just some quick thoughts. Um, we see Octavia, like, fighting in her new, like, gladiator gear. And I am just, like, I'm over her storyline. I really don't care about her storyline. <laughs> like, I just want her and Bellamy just to, like, separate and just move on. Because <laughs> it is not healthy for Bellamy to keep getting abused physically and emotionally by his sister, and I'm just over it. I, yeah, I'm over Octavia, which is so sad, because she had such an interesting arc and in one and two. And then it just totally went, like, cultural appropriation and physical abuse, and then normalizing that, which is not okay. Like, physical abuse by your family members is not okay. It is not a normal family dynamic. And so anyone who tells you that it is, is wrong. It is not a normal family dynamic. And so I just, I just hate that. Ugh. Ugh, Octavia. <laughs> so much anger and frustration. Like, I don't want, I do not ship her an alien. I do not. I wish alien would just go off and be free. But, of course, just sucks that they just want to prop her up. With another POC, of course. Um, okay, so Raven, I'm, like, really upset, y'all. Because, like, Raven is my favorite character. Like, I really hope they don't kill her off. Like, please, please, please. Like, she's my favorite. She's just so smart and intelligent and sassy. And, like, I see myself in her. Like, she represents me. And I feel like I fit in with her, you know, like, I am quirky, and I'm smart, and I am brave, and courageous, and I deal with chronic pain, and neuropathy, and, like, that's my life right now, and so, I just feel like she's just so awesome, and I don't want her to go, like, I really hope there's a way to save her, I'm gonna be crushed, y'all, like, 
I can't, no, I refuse, because, just because it's personal for me, I feel like, if she can, I guess I know it's fictional, but, like, you don't really see a lot of happy endings with people who have chronic pain and neuropathy, and, not that I want, like, a rainbow and sunshine ending for her character, but just her being alive is, like, hope itself for me. It just pushes me just to keep fighting, to keep pushing, and not just giving up when things get tough. Because Raven didn't do that. And so, yeah, I... Okay, so then we have, like, the fight between Rowan and then Octavius lighting Luna. And then that's going to be interesting to see. Just the fight scenes, I guess, will be interesting. Um, just action scene-wise. And then... I really hope Bellamy is not on the DNR scene, because if he's on the DNR team, I'm going to be like, no, you have something to live for, you have Clark to live for, like, go to Clark, like, she'll make you, you guys are just a team, you work better together, not apart, and that just really upsets me that Bellamy is just, like, lost hope, and is just like, forget it, like, I don't have any hope anymore, because he's devastated by the loss of his sister, and how she's basically just, like, said that she wishes he was dead, which is ridiculous. Uh, so many problems with Octavia. Um, yeah, so I really hope that, you know, I'm really hoping that, like, Clark and him share a really awesome, like, scene together. Apparently, there's a huge scene coming up with Blark, which I'm super pumped about. And Tree Adams, the composer of The 100, confirmed that he has more Blark music to share, which is definitely important. Like, they have their own theme song. That's really huge, guys. That's so huge. I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I'm predicting they're going to be canon in 410. I'm really hoping for, like, an awesome convo, like freak out and be so great y'all um and i love how like bellamy is there with abby and clark because abby knows that bellamy cares about clark and it's gonna be great y'all i'm just like i'm ready for the canon stuff to happen it's gonna be great okay um yeah i'm just really i hope we get to see more of gaia i hope we get to see more miller and um harper scenes i really love the amori shot i thought that was great i love amori and i love murphy and so on my death watch list is Jasper, Amori, I feel like Kate or Abby, one of them has, has to go. Um, because we can't have happy endings, so Kate or Abby, I feel like that, that's it. Maybe Octavia, but I don't feel like, like, what would be the whole point of, like, her having this supposed amazing storyline? Um, and then they just kill her off next season. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to see this, guys. So it comes out, like, five days from today. I'm super pumped, y'all. Let's just get started. It's going to be so great. Yeah. Um, yeah, and hopefully in July, I will be going to Miami to meet more of the cast, which is super exciting. I'm going to go with my friend Sarah and her twin. It'll be great. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and maybe we meet again. Bye.